Hey guys, it's Obsolete here. Today I'm going over how to beat the Desert Scourge in Death Mode and the Calamity mod. This is the first new modded boss you will fight within the mod, and is intended to be fought after King Slime. Let's get started with gear recommendations. For this fight, I would recommend using a Wolfram armor set for your class, along with one of these weapons. For the melee class, I'd recommend the Star Fury or the Seashell Boomerang. For the range class, I'd recommend any bow with Jester arrows or the Mini Shark. For the mage class, I'd recommend the Coral Spout or the Water Bolt. For the Rogue class, I'd recommend the Seashell Boomerang or the Crystalline. And for the Summoner class, I'd recommend the Stormjaw Staff or the Frost Blossom Staff. Anything that can deal piercing damage is recommended in order to hit multiple of the boss's segments at once to quickly kill the boss. As far as accessories go, I'd recommend Hermes Boots and Cloud of the Bottle or an item similar to it, and any hook. I'd also recommend at least a Swiftness Potion for the fight as movement speed is pretty key and any other potions are just a bonus. For your arena, make 2 or 3 layers of platforms and make sure the first one is within the desert biome and has the desert biome background when you are standing on it. As if you are outside the biome, you will be unable to damage the boss. Place the second one slightly above it, but within grappling range. Doing this will make the fight much easier as the boss will rarely be able to get up to your platforms. To summon the boss, you will need a desert medallion. It is crafted at a demon or crimson altar using the following items. This item can only be used in the desert biome. As far as the boss's attacks go, beyond just doing contact damage, the boss has two different attacks. One of those attacks is Sand Blast. It will fire sand projectiles in different directions, which can potentially block your movement options if you are not careful. The second attack is Burrow. The boss will descend into the ground, a sound effect will play, and then the boss will quickly charge at the player. As far as strategy goes, when the fight starts, the first thing you want to do is figure out where the boss is, as well as the two worms that fight alongside him. After spotting them, try to get away from the boss and the worms while remaining in the desert biome. I personally prefer to take out the smaller worms first to make the fight less messy. The movement for this boss fight is quite simple. Keep running back and forth along your platform that is inside the desert biome and damage the boss while doing so. This back and forth movement will make it so the boss can't get onto your platforms as he doesn't have enough vertical momentum to reach it. However, if you stand still for too long, he will eventually reach your platform. If the boss happens to reach your platform, grapple your upper platform and switch directions, making sure to drop back down to your lower platform within the desert biome. While running back and forth or switching directions, be careful and dodge any sandblast projectiles that may be blocking your path. When the boss does his burrow attack, indicated by a sound effect that plays, you want to lure the boss to charge at you at a side angle by running in the direction away from the boss, which will cause him to overshoot the charge and give you a lot more breathing room. Be careful as while he is coming down for the charge, he can still shoot his sandblast, which if you are caught inside his coil, can be very hard to dodge. If you know you are going to take a hit by the boss's contact damage, aim to get hit by a body segment rather than his head segment, as the head does much more damage than his body. Overall, you want to keep as much distance as you can between you and the boss at all times, and make sure to be moving for most of the fight. After defeating the Desert Scourge, I recommend using his drops to make Vic side bars, and then using that to make a Vic side armor set for your class. Explore the deep underground of the desert biome and you will find the sunken sea with new items and new enemies. The biome is almost entirely filled with water, so the ocean crest, one of the items the desert scourge drops, is recommended to use as you can breathe underwater and it also makes most underwater enemies friendly as a bonus. That is all for my desert scourge boss guide, let me know what you guys thought down below in the comment section, and if this helped you make sure to leave a like and consider subscribing for more content like this. Thank you guys for watching.